Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Hospital Management System project tutorial. Now in this tutorial we are going to see how you can make email validation in Laravel. It means when you try to re register like if you give your name then email and address and password and if you click register then our project will send you an email and then you have to go to your that certain email and uh, there will be a link option over there or button type option if you click that button then your email will be verified and only then you will be able to log in uh, if you do not uh, verify your email you won't be able to log in so this is actually really simple than you can actually think so for it uh, we need to go to our code and then first of all we need to go to our app then inside app we have models and inside models we have our user.php so if you go to our database and if you go to our hospital and then users here you can see that uh, when someone log uh, registered their name email everything is saved over here and here you can see another field email verified at it is null so right now what we are going to do is someone register and if their email verified at is null they won't be able to log in so for it we just need to go to our uh, models then user user.php and here at the top you can see must verify email so what we are going to do let me just copy it and here you can see class user extend authenticable so we are going to say here implements and after this we are going to say must verify email so this one and it's done so you have to save it over here then you have to go to your config then you have to go to your fortify.php and if you go down go down uh, over here you can see features email verification then you have to just uh, remove this double slash from here and then you have to save it control s so let me just close this one and this one as well now directly we will go to our dot uh, env file and here here you can see that we have mail mailer then mail mail form name over here so since we want to send email verification so we also need to use a email so using that email we are going to send email verification messages so here uh, mail mailer will be smtp and mail host will be smtp dot gmail.com and we also need to give the mail port which will be 465 and we want to give the mail username which email you want to use to send verification email so i am going to use this email yamin shakil7 at the rate of gmail.com and then you have to give your mail actual password so i will give my mail actual password and once you give the password you need to give the mail encryption which will be ssl and mail form address let's say this one so user will see this uh, see that they receive a mail from this address and let's say mail form name let's say over here form hospital so now let's save it control s <coughs> and if you change anything in the dot env then you will notice that the environment modified uh, restarting server so i'll just say over here control c and again i'll say php actual serve and press enter so if you change anything in the dot env you need to restart your server so now there is one more thing that we need to do since we are using this mail so we need to make some changes in this mail so that our mail can send verification email so for it we need to go to that certain mail here you can see that over here my email name is yaminshakil7 at the rate of gmail.com and down here you can see manage your google account so you need to click this and then you have to go to your security and if you go down right now you will see that less secure app access which is on by default it is turned off so you need to make it turned on so once you have this on you are ready to send email verification using this email so now we just need to do one more change we just need to go to our route then web.php and here you can see uh, slash home 
so using this url we are actually uh, sending the logged in user to their home so here we are just going to give a arrow sign then we will say middle wire and we'll give two pass bracket and inside it we'll say auth then after comma we'll give two single quotation and here we'll say verified so now if we save it and let me just refresh over here and now if we click register and let's give a name let's say yahia yamin and let's give an email let's say yahia yamin on at the rate of gmail.com and let's give a random phone number let's give a address let's say canada and let's give a password confirm password and now if we just click register here you can see that a text thanks for signing up before uh, getting started could you verify your email now if i go to that certain email uh, which is yahia yamin on at the rate of gmail.com now let me just refresh over here so here you can see we received the email uh, from hospital verify email address so if i just click this verify email here you can see it took us to our home page so this was actually really easy now let me just go to our uh, database and if you just refresh over here you can see that email verified at there is a date over here that our email was verified at that date so since we have our email verified uh, on so we won't be able to log in use, using user at the rate of gmail.com and using admin at the rate of gmail.com because uh, their value is null so if you want to log in to this account that that is really simple just click edit and over here you can see that email verified at and there is a button type over here uh, date button type just select over here any date you want and just click go so here you can see that email verified at uh, let me just show you uh, that the admin email verified at is null so if we just try to log into our admin page let me just try to uh, log into our admin uh, let's keep the password we won't be able to actually log in it is showing us this view so if you just uh, go back and if you just do the same for the admin as well let's click edit let's keep the date over here any date you want and after it click go and now here you can see that email verified at has an address so now so now if we just try to log in from here let's click the admin and let's give the password and if you click login so here you can see this time we are able to successfully log into our admin dashboard now let me just try one more thing now let me just show you one more thing that is forgot password option if you just click login and if you click the forgot password it is uh, telling us to give an email now let's say yahia yamin at the rate of gmail.com and if you just click email password reset link here you can see a message we have emailed your uh, reset password link so now if you go to our email and let me just refresh over here so here you can see reset uh, password notification and if you just click this reset password button so here you can see the email then the password and the confirm password option you can change your password from here let me just change my password on two three four five six seven eight and if you click reset password it will reset my account password so now we can just log in using that password or uh, let me just say that yeah yeah let me try to log in so there you go we are able to successfully log in now uh, let me just show uh, tell you just one more thing uh, people may get a little confused now if you just click confirm uh, forget your password and if you just give any random username or any random gmail uh, gmail.com and if you click email password uh, reset link uh, it will uh, show a message that we can find a user with that email address that means that uh, if you go to our database you can see that uh, we do not have that email over here and that is why it is giving us a message so so this is for security reason 
so this is all actually about this tutorial uh, so this tutorial is actually really simple but if you still have any problem or face any problem or uh, doing email verification or reset password then let me know in the comment section i will give you the proper solution so thank you very much for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel stay tuned and stay healthy